hello guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video apologies about the lighting it's currently half five on saturday night i was gonna do a little sunday vlog tomorrow and then i thought i'd just start the vlog right now i'm home alone and that is a very rare occurrence for me right now living at my mum and dad's house there is always someone in the house or there's people coming and going and it's rare that I'm home alone, so I'm gonna take this opportunity to have a bath, have a pamper, have some me time, read my book, and just chill. But of course, I was like, let's bring you guys along with me. Just noticed Corby there, he's very tired because we've been on a nice long walk. Um, but yeah, had a pretty productive Saturday, went to the gym, did a spin class, which was my first one back in a while and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I've really missed doing classes, especially spinning, because that was one of my faves. Um, Did some house stuff, did some tidying, did some organising, been working all afternoon because I'm just very busy right now. Um, But yeah, let's activate weekend mode, let's have a pamper, let's get a glass of Prosecco and... Let's run ourselves a nice bath. Okay guys, so this part of the video is kindly sponsored by Foreo. This is their Luna 4 Body T-Sonic Massaging Body Brush. This helps to remove dirt and oil on the skin using an ultra hygienic silicone brush head. It helps to deep cleanse and reduce breakouts on the body, improve the appearance of cellulite and also prevent strawberry skin and ingrown hairs caused by shaving. I like to apply body wash onto it and use all over my body, leaving my skin feeling silky soft and ready to absorb my body moisturiser after a shower or bath. It has up to 300 minutes per single charge and it's the perfect new addition to my body care routine. I'll leave more information down below in the description along with links and my discount code. Okay, I'm out the bath. There's a very tired little boy there. And pyjamas of choice are, of course, from my Gym Jam edit. These are probably my most go-to. They're like the thickest, comfiest material. Like, such gorgeous quality. Really lovely and soft. They're just like my go-to to throw on for a cosy night. So I'm going to put these on and have a little pamper. Ugh, slippers. On. Quick, easy dinner tonight, which Jordan's just picked up on the way back from football. We're having this pasta, little pasta sauce and a garlic bread because sometimes you just need... Oh, I haven't put my rings back on after my bath. Forgot to put that on. Um, sometimes you just need a quick, easy dinner, you know? And dinner is ready. Did a little side salad for me also. Look at this cheese thing that mum and dad brought back from Mallorca. It's like a one you get in a restaurant. Very handy. This is the cosiest thing in my mum and dad's house. Me and Jordan literally live in front of this fire. 
And also Victoria, who is my sister's best friend, who is also basically my second little sister, went and got us a McFlurry. So if that hasn't been the perfect Saturday night, I don't know what is. Good morning, happy Sunday. Me and Jordan have both just set off to the gym. He goes to one near our new house, whereas I'm going to one more close to mum and dad's and I'll probably have to move again when we move. Anyway, um, had a lovely chill night last night. It's so nice waking up on a weekend and being fresh. And oh my God, there's a little baby dog. Oh my God, that was so cute. Um, yeah, it feels nice being fresh and knowing that we're gonna have another productive day. I'm so happy to have a few quiet weekends. I feel like I've really just been so busy recently that a few quiet weekends is exactly what we needed. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of an incline walk at the gym and then do some legs. I think I'll be quite quiet at nine o'clock on a Sunday morning, so. That'll be good. Um, and then we're going to go to our storage unit um, where we're storing all of our stuff while we're living at my mum and dad's um, to drop off some summer clothes and stuff like that because we've got too much stuff at mum and dad's right now. And we're going to go and deliver some save the dates, ones that live close by to us. And then I'm going to spend the afternoon working. But happy Sunday. Good morning, and let's go and smash a workout. So this is my first week back at the gym since I got back from holiday, and to be honest, since moving home, we've been, well, I've been in such a bad routine that I haven't really been going to the gym. Um, so this week I've been, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, this will be my fifth time. So I'm trying to go like four or five times a week. So I'm pretty proud of myself for the first week for pushing myself and getting here because it's always the first, the first week, the first like little step into a new routine that is the hardest to stick to and be motivated but I've just pushed myself and known how it will make me feel after and I feel really good that it's got to Sunday and I know that I've actually made it a priority to go and I've pushed myself to get back into a good routine so here's your sign if you're struggling to get back into a good routine or you feel like you need a little fresh start to just go the first time it's always going to be the hardest and it's always going to get easier every single time that you push yourself and you go we've got this we have got this look at that sun gym is done we've had a lovely breakfast had smoked salmon cream cheese bagels which is one of our faves we've got Kobe out on a nice walk and it is a beautiful winter's day. This little boy is gonna need a bath because of course he's ran through all the puddles, but honestly on a Sunday when we've been for a long walk and he has a bath and then he like sleeps all day, it's just the cutest thing ever. Did you have a good workout today? Yep. Good. Done a little hit session, boxing, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all the rest of it. 800 calories done. Productive, hungover free Sundays are the new way of life. We love it. Until the World Cup starts. Yeah, well, the tomorrow. World Cup starts tomorrow, so we're being sensible. Um, or Kobe likes to come and walk between us, the three musketeers. Um, but yeah, long walk, had our breakfast, done our gym, and then after this, we are going to the storage. We are going to do a food shop, and then that's all our jobs. For very today. boring. Very adult. This is a very adult and weekend, isn't it? Yeah. Love it. It's bath time for this little boy because that is one muddy belly in there. Good boy. That nice. Good boy. He's good boy. Can we do that? Are you getting all the sticky bits out? Come here then, do your shampoo. John, that's freezing. It's not, feel that. Feel it. It's freezing. It's not. He likes it warmer than that. Don't you? He likes it warmer than that, darling. Good boy, with your shampoo. 
I think when her dad does the things and it's like Sam didn't do it, it's like his mum, I was like, it's fine, man. And you're like, no, he likes it warm. He likes it nice and warm, don't you, son? How is too cold, silly dad? Is that better? Yeah. Silly daddy. I feel like you need to do this. Right, you do this. You do the shampoo? Yeah, because I don't get in there. You're not messing about. It doesn't froth a lot, that one. You might be better using some of that one as well. It does froth when you get in there, Dee. Okay, quick change, had a shower, done my skincare, and we are ready to go. I thought I'd quickly show my outfit of the day. My hair's a hot mess, so let's ignore that. Little headband in, Primark racer top. These are so good, I literally live in these. I got them probably like a year ago, maybe two years ago, but I'm sure this will have them. They're just a classic. Princess Polly jeans. These are just like the perfect baggy, comfortable jean. My little Ugg boots which I've been living in since Jordan got me them and a cardigan from my Jim Jam the label edit this is the nicest like coziest um cardigan ever like it's really long maxi just really really cozy and then I've got my Givenchy bag so I'm gonna go help Jordan pack up the car with stuff to take to storage and we'll do our first trip of the day the car is packed with once again all our summer stuff, what else is in there? All of Jordan's trophies from when he used to play football. What else have we got in there? University books. Lots of books and trophies. And like t-shirts from America, when he lived in America. Nostalgia. Because he's obviously very, what's it called when you hold on to stuff? Nostalgic. Oh yeah, nostalgic. And he insists in keeping all of these things there's even a cricket bat with some like yeah, leg, what's it called, like shin pads or something. Cricket pads? Yeah. It's the garden in the summer. So we've now got to put all that in storage because we basically got all that from Jordan's mum's house that she'd been keeping but now it's our responsibility and Jordan insists that we keep it. So we've got a car full of a load of stuff We're on our way to the storage, we should be there any minute now. Got a little monster. I never used to like energy drinks at all. Like. Red Bull makes me feel ill, but tried this one. It's got like zero calories, zero sugar, and it's actually really nice. And I felt like I needed a little bit of energy, but yeah, on the way to the storage unit, gonna drop all this off, and that'll be a big job ticked off the list. Ready to load this baby up. As you can see, loads of random books. What else have we got in here? Gym pads. But they're even for you, they look like kids. What's that? Little Scooby Doo stuff. What's that? I used to love Scooby Doo. Jordan, is that for two feet or one? <laughs> that's one. <laughs> Why have you got that? What is going on? Oh, that's our little memory book that's allowed to stick. Yeah. Aww. What's this one? Get that out and I'll show them. That looks shrugged. That's a really oh good read. Oh my goodness me. Guys, I'll show you something in here while Jordan's sorting stuff out. Oh, that was us in New York. Look how young we look there. Again, New York, selfie stick. I was actually um, not even 21, so I was really scared I was going to get ID'd because obviously you have to be 21 in America. This is us running around Central Park. Again, New York. This is my beer. How old would we have been here, Jordan? What? How old were we here? We were like 18, 19, 20. Aww. Well, it was 2016, yeah. Oh my god. So cute. Where's the rest of them? This is from LA. What, what did we go and say? A yeah, Lakers LA. game? Dodgers. Dodgers. Look at us. So young. I made this for Jordan for a, for a present. I need to fill that with more things, babe. Oh, this is all his trophies. You'll need to tell us what you won, babe, and what these are for. Let's have a look. 
this one. Durham County, man, most man of the matches. Oh. <laughs> Durham County, man of the match. Oh here. What's this one? Player of the season. Oh, oh, I'm really proud of you. They're not getting displayed in the new house. They'll sit lovely in the garage, though. Top goal scorer. Oh, oh my God, it's even got your name on. Got another one. Two seasons in a row. Top goal scorer? I thought you were a defender. I know. That was good back then. <laughs> oh, man. I'll show the kids then. I'll show the kids. Oh. Got a few balls just kicking the hell. <laughs> I'm just I'm not over this <laughs> Right, no, we're not balancing that on there. That'll fall off. That is 100% going to fall. Here we are. On your head. No! <laughs> Ready? Smile! <laughs> this feels like something out of a horror film and I really don't like it. I find it very scary coming here. This is our little storage unit in here. John's putting in the secret password to get us in. Let's see if our last stuff's okay. <sighs> wow. Guys, honestly, this overwhelms me so much. <laughs> Who remembers this chair from the vlogs? Oh, God. How are we going to even fit all this in? Babe, there's our Christmas tree. If only we got to use that this year, really miss you. There's our Hoover, also kind of miss you. Alright, let's get going. Okay, let's go. I dread the day that we've got to take all this to the new house, do you? Mm. <sighs> right, until next time. Yeah, until next time. Hopefully next time we see you, we will be a move into our new house. Bye. Let's put the body away. Food shop is done. We did get these little snacks, but we've already ate them before I had a chance to show you. Getting the car washed. Very productive. Mm. Oh, there he is. We are back from our busy Sunday. PJs are back on. Slippers are firmly on my feet. And we've got the fire on and we're going to have a nice cosy afternoon. I'm going to do some work on my laptop. I'm going to start shopping some Black Friday sales. And it's just going to be a lovely relaxing afternoon. I can't wait to make a cup of tea, have some digestives and get cosy on that couch. Oh my god, I forgot to show you all. Jordan got me the Jo Malone advent calendar this year and honestly, I cried because I've wanted this for such a long time. It is stunning. My mum had it last year and some of the things that she got in there was incredible. Also, how gorgeous is this for an advent calendar like to have out on the side? It's just beautiful and he got me that as a nice little gift and it was just so kind and so thoughtful and I love it. So I will show you what I get in there as and when I open it. I'm sure I'll be doing it on the vlogs. And this is where you'll find me for the remainder of the night. I am just sat editing a video we've just had homemade spaghetti bolognese from my mum on Sundays we tend to like sit down and have a nice family meal and honestly it's so nice like we just sit and catch up and have a laugh and these are the things that I'll actually really miss when we move because it's just so nice um but yeah I'm gonna end this vlog here because currently eight o'clock gonna finish editing wrap up and plan some work for the week and i'm gonna start vlogging tomorrow because i really feel like i might be back with the regular vlogs i feel like i've really enjoyed vlogging this today it's made me really miss the regular vlogs with you guys and keeping you up to date so i really hope you enjoyed this video thank you again for always being so patient with me and being so kind when a post and chatting away with you all is my favorite thing ever so thank you so much make sure to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and as always i'll see you in the next one bye